A blessed morning to you out there. Welcome once again to another live broadcast. My name is Isaiah Phillips Akintola. Wherever you are joining or you'll be joining from this morning, I want to welcome you once again to another wonderful time in the presence of God. Well, we've been a bit off for a few days. Uh, That is deliberate. We believe God, (coughs) excuse me, we believe God this morning to help us to move further in his mind, in his word, in his counsel. There's so many things the Spirit of God, amen, is doing in our day, in our time. And I believe God this morning once again that we will have better perspective and be able to move further in the line of God's, amen, purpose for our life. The kingdom of God is advancing, amen, in 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 in, in this new reality of the days we have been ushered into. And there's so many things, amen, happening right now that we need to, amen, uh, understand and of course be able to handle in in terms of our advancement. So let us pray even as we begin to look into God's heart, amen, for this morning. Father, we come before you once again. We appreciate your love and mercy over our lives. We thank you for the way you have been dealing with us, the way you have been revealing yourself to us, your mercy, your faithfulness, your goodness. Yes, Father, your kindness that never fails. They are new every morning. Once again, you've given us this day to see Oh God, yes, your heart to know your mind, to know your desire, to know how to live life triumphantly, oh God, not being weak, not being beaten down by the enemy, but standing up, oh God, moving towards the place that you have ordained. Yes, Father, we thank you once again, that once again, our minds, oh God, our lives, oh God, are aligned to moving forward, to advancement, oh God, to growing, to maturing, oh God, so that in everything that we do, We can bring praise and glory unto you. We thank you. Thank you, Lord, that you're going to touch once again everyone that will be joining us this morning and those that will be listening later, oh God, watching this broadcast later. I pray that, Lord, as they listen, as they watch, that there will be, oh God, yes, a release of virtue. You will speak to them in those areas, oh God, that they need you to speak. And they'll be able to hear even when you speak. Because you're forever speaking. Our problem is that we don't know how to hear and we are we don't pay attention. So, pr- Father, I pray this morning that we will all hear your voice. We will all hear your mind. Your counsel will be revealed to us. Your intentions will be made known to us. And we will have the ears to hear. And also, oh God, we will develop the trust to apply the things that we have heard. Because you know, sometimes we do hear. We do hear. You do speak to us. And we do hear. But we are not sure that you're the one speaking to us. And that's a challenge we've seen through the, through, through, through the scripture. And so I pray this morning that we'll be able to develop confidence, courage. We'll be able to de- develop, yes, Father, the trust that when we hear your voice, that we can apply the things that we have heard, oh God, knowing that truly we have heard from you. So help us once again to shut down every other voice. Because when we have voices... Uh, uh, challenging the vo- your voice in our life when we have voices oh god yes father confusing your your voice in our life oh god when we have other voices mimicking your own voice in our life then we are in trouble so help us father to learn to shut away do away with other voices so that when you speak we know that this is the lord speaking david says once the lord has spoken twice have i heard so i thank you this morning and as you speak to us we'll hear with clarity oh god and we'll be able to do we'll be able to apply we will go all out to god to practice the things that you have said to us because we are sure that you have spoken in jesus name amen and amen welcome everyone this morning i want to welcome you to another live broadcast if you are joining us i want to really appreciate this moment amen the spirit of god is speaking to us and we want to continue to live our life within the ambience amen of the voice of god uh, like i said uh, there are so many things the spirit of god I, I i know is doing in your space amen and of course in my space when we come like this we want to share amen what the lord amen is is speaking what the spirit of god is emphasizing and how we can amen corporately move within amen the the voice of god i, I believe god once again this morning to help us to further move into Amen. His intentions. Uh, we have been dealing with the concept of moving forward. Amen. Uh, uh, it, it seemed the year 20, uh, 2022. In fact, not same. I know the year 2022 is a year of advancement. Is a year of advancement. Is a year of moving. It's not like we've not been moving, but it seems God is saying to us that in 2022, I I need you to 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 follow me. 
I need you to walk with me. God is a moving God. Amen. He's a, he's a progressive God. Amen. He, he is, is, is a God that, 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 that believes in growth, in development. Amen. And therefore, it is, it is very important that we look at, amen, all the areas that will allow us, amen, to continue to move. And remember in some of the definitions that we, 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 we have given uh, before, that movement is not just about, amen, moving from point A to point B as much as that is important, amen. Uh, movement will mean so many things, amen. Movement first in the state of how, amen, we, we think and we reason, amen. Movement in the way we look at life, amen. Yes, everything about our life must be progressive. We, 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 we must refuse, amen, to be static, to remain stagnant, amen. They say stagnant water, amen, stinks, amen. Yes, we have to believe God to help us to move. You see, movement is a philosophy, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a culture of life, is a, is a way of life. If you look at many countries today, they are not moving. They're not moving because there's no progress. Yes, we can we can give example. When we stop moving, there are certain things, amen, that we can look at, that we can see, that we can highlight, amen. So as we're talking about movement from a, a personal, amen, individual level, we can talk about movement, amen, from a family level, amen, from, you know, to, to a church level, to, a, you know, a bigger, you know, a, a national level, amen. Is the world moving forward? You know, we have to look at all that. And if we're talking about movement, there has to be a yastic. There has to be a pointer. There has to be where we are going to. Amen. There has to be a place that we are heading to. And it's important that we highlight all this because the Spirit of God, like I said, is speaking to us. God is giving us direction. God is giving us a leading. God is giving us insight into, amen, the nature of the days. The, the days are unfolding. Amen. I said that, that moving forward is a current prophetic demand. So if we say something is a current prophetic demand, it is important that we understand, amen, what that word means. What is the demand of God, amen, for this new day? Amen. The third day is a, is a, is a, is a nomadic church. Amen. The third day church is a nomadic church. It's a moving church. Amen. It's not a stagnant church. Amen. Uh, if you look back to the history of the church, you look back to the history of many nations, all right, you discover that. One of the reasons why there was no advancement, there was no progress is because we got caught up in certain, you know, a uh, uh, belief system, in certain ideology. Amen. It, it, we, we, we got caught up in certain way of thinking and reasoning. And to as, uh, to, uh, to as long as we remain, amen, capture within that frame of, of thought that limits us, that, that builds us, that, you know, that, that, that cages us around certain beliefs and values and standards, amen, and we're not able to see forward, we're not able to move further, we're not able to, you know, see into the mind of God, into the will of God, then, then, then we become, you know, uh, we, we, we become trapped by the enemy, and that's the plan of the enemy, the enemy does not believe, amen, in, in progression, in movement, in advancement, advancement all right he, he he likes to keep us in a particular state the bible talk about you know a, a, a particular guy who was placed at the at the gate called beautiful all right uh, he's been there for 38 years 38 years amen in the same spot and this morning you you notice that i put a word and and and, and that word of course is a tagline that i really want us to look into because it is important amen that we understand that first of all movement is is a state of life is a is a way you think hallelujah yes when you are not progressive in in your thought pattern when you're not progressive amen in the way hallelujah you look at life when you do not have amen the desire again to to want to live to want to live is to want to move forward Amen. Good morning, everyone. This morning, thank you, uh, my dear sisters, for joining. Really appreciate it. God bless you all. Amen. Thank you. All right. Movement is about, amen, uh, you, you looking at life from a particular view, from a particular, you know, uh, 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 perspective. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, movement, you know, when, when you have the mindset, the philosophy, the, the, the belief system of spiritual advancement, amen, that then speaks into how you, how you carry out, you know, your work on earth 
earth, how you live your life, how the things you, you invest into, the things, amen, that you, you desire. It's a movement that we develop, if you will, you know, uh, uh, the desire to want to fulfill God's counsel for our life. When we no longer have the desire to want to move forward, amen, we have no passion to fulfill purpose. We have no passion or desire to even discover our purpose. There are certain people that they are just static, static, amen. They remain where they are because they have, they, they have come to you know, develop a, a sense of security around where they are, you see. And, and, you know, developing a sense of security can be positive and also can be negative. The enemy can put us in a place where, all right, the things that are given to us gives us a, a false sense of arrival, gives us a false sense of security. The things around us, the things we have achieved, the things that we have acquired, amen. Paul said, all right, I, I, I will not count myself, amen, to have achieved, to have arrived, to have apprehend uh, that's a mindset that we have to develop and i believe that that is the mindset amen that 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 that, that paul you know where in 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 in, able to, in in his ability to achieve amen that enabled him to achieve the kind of things that we read amen that when you get to a point of success do you build a camp around that success because success amen are, are, are seasonal success success itself amen you know uh, is it's relative so Success is relative. You can succeed in one thing, amen, and still not succeed in so many things. It's good to succeed in some things, but it's also good to have a broad understanding, amen, of what God has ordained for you. So you don't get to a point, amen, of victory and come there and not see other areas that the Lord, amen, will have you move into, amen, enter into. And I think that is uh, the problem of man generally, and that's what we are seeing. All right. There are there are nations that like South Africa today who who you know you know have been basking for the past you know donkeys of years on 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 liberation. All right, but, but there are still things that people need to break away from and move into. All right, but but we will be we've been singing and and you know dancing around. All right, uh, we we've been free from apartheid, we've been free from slavery and all of that. But there are other areas that, that we are still seeing that Amen. We need to break away from and move into Amen. The next counsels of God for our life, so, such that Amen. If we don't, those things that we thought Amen are victory to us, in fact, becomes you know a leeway for the enemy to you know to to. Re gain you know their foothold in our life and we're seeing that in 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 the, in the economy of course we're seeing that today in the way you know our, our politics is being played in south africa i'm just giving us a broader understanding that movement is not just about you know moving from point a to point b it's about progressing it's about advancement amen and we are advancing to something into something as believers we are coming into a person we are moving into a place into a person I Hallelujah. Our movement, amen, is coming towards that point where heaven and earth, hallelujah, becomes one, hallelujah, where our life becomes a true reflection of what the Father intends. The scripture says, let your will be done in my life, amen, let your kingdom come, let your will be done in my life. As it is done in heaven, we are moving towards that point. The Bible talk about the people, amen, who have gone out, amen, yes, to meet the Lord outside the camp. And then, uh, you know, uh, uh, Matthew 25 told us about, amen, 10 virgins who went out, who, in fact, let's quickly look at that scripture. Thank you, Father. I hope somebody this morning, amen, is catching the spirit of what we are talking about. Because this is very important. The Bible says, at that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamp and went out to meet the bridegroom. Who took their lamp and went out. You see, there was progress. There was advancement. Amen. There, there was a movement to us, something, to us, a person. And I think that is something very, very important that we should know that as virgins, as the bride of Christ, as the church of God, amen, as the sons of God, as the ecclesia, we are moving out. We are not waiting. The Bible says at that time, the kingdom of heaven will be likened to. So in the, in the, in the concept of the kingdom, in the understanding of the kingdom, there is ad, an advancement. There is a going out. There is a breaking forth. There is a, there is a movement to us, a person. We're not just waiting for Christ to come. Amen. We are also going out to meet with him. Hallelujah. 
So this morning, I'm going to be speaking or I'm speaking around the disruptions, amen, that will be coming within our movement. Because if we're going to move, then we must understand that there will be, amen, uh, there will be disruptions. There will be challenges. There will be all kinds of, you know, issues that, that will be rising up that will seek to want to stop, frustrate, amen, or hinder our movement, our movement, amen. And it's important that we note those things, amen. Challenges that will be coming from the state of our mind, amen. Challenges that will be coming from, amen, our faculties, amen. Yes, internal challenges, personal challenges, challenges of, look, this is who you are. This is where, amen, uh, 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 you know, this is how your life has been defined. This, 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 these are the things that have been defined, you know, for you. This is your territory. This is your location. You dare not break away from this point. You dare not move away from this point, particularly if, amen, you, you, you know, you, you've had the history of being limited in a particular spot or way of thinking or reasoning, amen, of doing things. Many of us are, are limited to so many things, amen, from cultural, you know, our, our background to, you know, our mental, amen, our, our belief system, amen. We, we've been captured by all kinds of strong goals that have limited us, that have define who we are amen nobody in your father's house have ever done this thing so how dare you get up to want to amen yes move from this point this is where that has been this is this is where i met that has been allocated to you this is this is the portion amen that has been given to you 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 have no you know reason to to challenge or to move away all right you cannot challenge the status quo you can't say something you are not permitted to say what you say you're not permitted to move from this point you're not permitted to see things from from a different you know viewpoint so stay where you are live here and that was the story of the children of Israel, amen. We've been tracking that for, for a while now, all right? For 430 years. I want you to think of 430 years of, of thinking in a particular way, of seeing things from a particular point of view, amen. Of reasoning, hallelujah, in a particular, you know, uh, uh, manner of life, hallelujah. I want you to look at that point. Look at your life, your home, your family. Look at the body of Christ. How church has been defined, amen. Yes, for centuries. All right. How church has been defined. The strongholds that have defined who we are, what we are, amen. How we have understood church. That church is just a place we go to. That church, amen, cannot address issues amen that deals with society that the church cannot deal with amen political issue economic issue that the church has no capacity to deal with issues of financing amen you know uh, uh, you, you know you know economy and building you know in the industries that the church is not supposed to deal with issues of industry amen the church is not supposed to be speaking into culture culture transformation that the church is not supposed to be dealing with amen issues of, of governance in the marketplace that just remain as a church as long as you remain a, as a church you go to church on Sunday you pay your tithe and offering and you do all the clappy clappy and you you know do the things that you do as long as you stay in that space it's fine but the moment you say no you want to move you want to enter into the space of governance you want to begin to you know uh, uh, you know look into why people are not developing why community society why the nation is not advancing hallelujah then you 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 are stepping out of line you are stepping out of you know your place you know people don't mind us do church the way we do it but at the moment we say no we're breaking away from that you know uh, uh, the, 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 you know that that template that order of life and we want to begin to advance and and possess amen and transform and reform society and nations amen and speak into how things are done amen in the marketplace amen and build people who are competent no they, they said that's not for you that that's 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 something that has been you know designed for you know the world system and to a lot to, to a large degree many of us have believed that and have lived our life from that point of view all right and, and 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 they limit us you know 
circumstance you know has come to identify and define who we are that we will not rise above this level we will not go beyond this level because amen you're an indian so this is how your life must pan out because amen you are a caucasian uh, 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 this is how your life amen is designed to live because you're an african this is how you must see things all right this is how you must relate i mean i'm talking about you know powerful str strongholds that have become systemic even in the way we think and we don't even know many of us have been limited we can't move forward but the lord amen is disrupting amen our pattern of thinking is disrupting he's coming and he's challenging and he's saying to us come go with me to the other side the other side, people may not want you there. They may not like you there. All right. They may not appreciate, amen, uh, you there. But we're going to the other side because the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, including those who live in it. Let's go to the other side. Let's press on, all right, to that area, to that dimension. Let's 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 begin to invest into those areas that they say, well, it's only a you know only a particular kind of people that are allowed in that space all right let's break the status quo and begin and, and like i said all of this starts with how we see ourselves you see because god defines our identity and he defines our space he defines amen, our movements yes the bible says the lord does not have you know respect respect for man god has no respecter of man amen in every nation to as many that will acknowledge him and worship him alike amen he has approved so we've we've got to begin to see ourselves and reinvent ourselves amen when i mean reinvent yourself i'm saying go back to the word of god and see what god says about you and begin to you know begin to believe that because you see you can even pray and 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 listen to my message but if you have not developed the belief system that is aligned to what god says in his word amen the religious you know belief system the belief system that we have acquired the tradition that we have acquired from the world system from our family you know bloodline and all kinds of issues out there that are limiting us that we don't even know we are aware of them, but we are not even we're, we're not even sure that those things are our limitation. The people that we think are our limitation, amen. The the circumstances that we think are our are, are our limitation, are in most cases the very least of our limitation. Our limitation most time, amen, are based on how we have come to accept ourselves, how we have come to see ourselves, how we have come to believe ourselves, how we have come to place limitations upon us because of amen, the incidents, the challenges, the things that we have been through in life amen how we grew up amen the, the 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 failures amen that we have faced failures are not supposed to define us failures are supposed to give us opportunity not to do things the way hallelujah we did them before so we we we, we need to relook into our life amen and i'm trying to you know bring us to a point and a place where we can see what god says amen because how god defines you amen at the end of the day ultimately is how you should see yourself because if you see yourself contrary to how god sees you every promise that he has given to you will not come to pass it's important that we establish that the word of God only comes to pass in the life of those who believe it. Be it done to you according to your faith. Your faith is made up of so many things. Your faith is made up of your belief system. Your faith is made of made up of your perspective. Your faith is made up of amen. Your understanding. Faith, hallelujah, does not just work because there's faith. Faith works with so many things. Faith works with trust. Hallelujah. You got to have trust in God. You have to. You have to have hope in Him hope make it not a shame hallelujah regardless of the circumstance the event around you when god says something you've got to understand amen that that is the finality regarding that situation so when god defines me amen what make me in his own image and likeness and he says go out there and 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 procreate go out there and show forth my glory go out there and manifest my you know my glory my name my fame it is left for me now to believe hallelujah in fact that is what religion is all about in every religion people must believe in the god they're serving it's only in christianity we find people you know being christian but not believing what god says it's amazing 
people who are into islam those who are into you know uh, uh buddhism those who are into uh, uh, uh shintoism or you know all this religion you see you see their followers amen they believe in the in the things that those you know uh, 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 religion have said but in christianity you know okay because we have made it so trendy we've made the, the the things of god so trendy you know you know yeah it, it's far you don't have to go all no 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 you have to because it's not going to work for you and that's why people run from one place to place or sometimes they think oh well it's, it's about that pastor or maybe that pastor can't preach well the, the the message of the pastor amen is one thing another thing that is most important is amen what do you believe regarding the word of god what do you believe not just about what the man of god says what if you believe what the word of god says amen then you've got the basis to to believe what the man of god says or to reject it because the word of god amen then becomes the foundation the yastic amen of your trust your trust is not in the man god uses men amen to confirm to affirm his word amen yes to inform you but it's it's your responsibility amen to believe hallelujah that word you see there's there's so many things that we need to correct so many things we need to look at and we need to begin to understand so that we do not continue amen living our life in an assumptive you know mindset and hoping and expecting that we're just gonna have amen a breakthrough it's not gonna work it's not gonna work we have to develop amen a knowledge a knowledge beyond just you know mental acquisition we have to develop amen a perspective we have to develop amen uh, an insight into the mind of god into the will of god and that's why i'm saying amen the moving forward our moving forward demands that we know amen god's prophetic counsel for us in this season in time one of the purpose of the prophetic or prophet amen is to give us is to bring amen to our understanding god's heart god's mind god said to moses make two trumpets amen yes make two trumpets one for the gathering of the people the other is for the leading them out is for the breaking of the camp so when the trumpets sound we've got to get ourselves ready amen we've got to get ourselves aligned we've got to get ourselves amen in that state where we are able to hear and follow the instructions of god so that the next thing god wants to do in our lives or through our life then becomes a manifest reality now i said this let's look at this word it says when the present order of your life becomes the enemy of the disruption you need to enter the next phase of god's counsel for your life you need to pray to god to shake everything in your life that can be shaken so that amen so that you may courageously move into the next phase of God's counsel. Amen. For your life. This is very important. Don't be afraid. Amen. Of what? Of disruptions. You need to, you, you need to pray. God, shake me. That is a, pr a good prayer to pray. God, shake everything that can be shaken. The reason why, amen, God, you, you, the reason why you need to pray that prayer, because there are things in your life that have become, amen, a stronghold. They've gained foothold. They have become the definer of your life. They've become how you see, how you think, how you reason. Amen. Yes. They define when you are, when you, when you are happy, when you are not. They define, amen, when you should believe or not to believe there are all kinds of amen belief system all kinds of ideologies all kinds of attitude characters amen that are, have been positioned within our life amen that hinders us from moving from pressing into amen the will of god this is where we need hallelujah god to come in and shake those things and we need to give him the permission to do that and listen to what i said i said when the present order in other words, the present arrangement of things. And, and this word actually came to, you know, to, my, to my spirit yesterday. You know, when I looked at, around me and I see the, all, you know, the disruptions because of you know, the, 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 the project that we have here. You know, trying to build my office and so many other things that we're trying to do in the house. And everything is just looking you know upside down you know so many things you can hardly put your feet in certain places because you know you've you've got you've got limited space 
all right and you you need to maximize the space and you need to do what you need to do you know and it just seems as if things are you know are, are standing still all right because i mean you you need funds to do certain things so i'm just looking at these things and i'm you know really getting you know i, I, I begin to feel agitated in my spirit not really not liking the condition and i'm like god something just and god began to speak to me even through all of that and this is where this message, you know, you know, came from that, you know, the, the objective of this disorder, if you will, the objective of this disorder, amen, is to bring, hallelujah, not just order into your life, but to expand your life, to bring, amen, excellence into your life, to bring increase into your life, to make you become more efficient, effective in what I have assigned you, all right? But for that to happen, you need to have this mess. You need to have this, you know, disruption. You need to have this disorderliness, Sometimes disorder or disorderliness is good, amen. If the objective, amen, is to expand you, if the objective, amen, is to increase you, if the objective, amen, is to put another room, hallelujah, to the two rooms, amen, that you are managing, amen. The enemy likes it when you keep the two rooms, all right, and and, and you've got children growing and they need another room and you need amen, a, a space to do what you need to do, all right. But the enemy says no, you you can't you can't you can't build for that you can't go further you can't ex expand you can't live where you are uh, supposing in case amen you don't get a breakthrough there supposing you you are you are not able to afford to you know get, pay that rent why don't you just stay in these two rooms but you know that you need four bedroom and i'm saying something today that that i hope will, 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 will challenge us and will set us free in the way we think all right because the enemy doesn't want you amen to advance to progress because he knows that your advancement and your progress amen is a manifestation amen of 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 the comings of the kingdom because when the kingdom comes into your space hallelujah you you you've got to you've got to expand there has to be increased and i'm not limiting this to just material things it's important we understand this i'm not limiting this to my and i'm if in fact i'm not speaking about material things but i'm saying when god begins to enlarge you and begins to impart your life amen there will be there will be there will be increase there will be you know things in your life that will want you to do more that will want you to press further god said tell the people to go further that 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 means that something must happen within their mind amen that will change the way they are thinking that yes moving forward it, it's for my good is for the advancement of the purposes of god it is to help other people amen yes to find their space to find their voice amen to become you know you know achievers to become successful to break through earlier to enter into god's next counsel for my life because my life are in phases so i can't remain in the same place at the same spot amen that i've been for the past 10 20 years of my life amen without advancement you, you, you get the point that i'm making advancement like i said is first a state of mind it's a desire to want to be to become all the heaven amen as ordained for you when you have that kind of desire amen even if you are living at the same spot you know that you're living there because that is what god said not because amen the circumstance defined it you see yeah our life should not be defined by circumstance our life should be defined by what god says if god says remain in that one room amen in the next 20 years then you know that the word of god the voice of god hallelujah has come to you in that in that moment and is still coming to you amen and therefore you find peace you find grace you find provision you find you find how to how to manage that one space but if god says amen i need you to break forth i need to move further i need you to do something i need you to take this thing to another level you cannot do that amen by remaining in the same spot god said to abraham now leave your father's house you know, disruption came. Leave your father's house. Leave the country that you're used to. Amen. Leave your kindred and go to a land I will show you. Moving from one point to the next point, amen, requires faith, requires trust, amen, requires that we, we, we develop, amen, our prophetic, amen, understanding. We develop our prophetic, amen, perspective. We, we develop the apostolic grace, amen, to break forth, to break barriers, limitations, particularly barriers and limitations that are within our state of thinking are you getting the point that i'm making our advancement is in alignment with 
the voice of God, the word of God that is coming to us. That our, our life, amen, is not bound or captured in fear. You know, circumstance, people, system wants to keep us lo locked down, limited in a particular spot. Not because God ordained it, but because you have allowed, amen, yes, situation to define you and when we allow situation to define us even when the opportunity is there for us to break forth to go forth to increase to expand to move further amen to 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 break into new ground hallelujah to speak into new dimension to receive hallelujah new prophetic voice to receive new spiritual direction we will still not amen respond because we have allowed ourselves to be defined by our past And this is the main challenge why the people of God who came out of the land of bondage died in their transition. This is why they died, amen, in the wilderness. <clears throat> that only two of the entire, amen, nation that came out of the land of bondage enter. You see, coming out of the land of bondage is good, but it's not good enough. Entering the, 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 the land of promise, amen, is, is where we want to head to. Is, is, our, is, our, amen, is our chief you know, aim, is our goal. We want to enter. We have come out. Unfortunately, many of us have come out. But we, 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 we cannot enter because of the belief system, the wrong mindset that Egypt, amen, has, 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 has built within us. We built pyramids, amen, in Egypt, but Egypt, hallelujah, itself has built pyramid within our minds. Our concept of thinking is that somebody up there must be the one to define my life. That's a pyramid system. The children of Israel, amen, did not just build pyramid hallelujah in egypt did not just build skyscraper in egypt did not just build powerful things in egypt but they were not allowed hallelujah to build that same breakthrough life within their own mindset and this is what amen capitalism amen and the war system capitalism socialism and all of this you know ec economic system of the world this is what they are doing even those who say, well, we're just going to give you everything for free. Listen, friends, not, nobody gives you anything for free without owning your life. And nobody, amen, gives you the position to break through, to become anything in life, amen. If you don't know what God has defined you, amen, to become, listen to this, they will shortchange you, they will limit you, they will cripple you. You will not be able to break through into God's intentions for your life. So it's important that we continue to understand, amen, what the Spirit of God is saying to us, amen. The present order of your life becomes the enemy, amen. Excuse me, when the present order of your life becomes the enemy of your disruption, you need, amen, to pray. You need to pray to God to give you the wisdom, the, the knowledge, the understanding to break that order. Sometimes order can be disruptive. Order can be disruptive to your life. Disruptive. Order, hallelujah, can be disruptive to your life because God wants to use, you know, dis disruption. To, God wants to steer your water. God wants to shake things. God wants to, you know, if you will, you know, scatter things around you so you can see the need, amen, to move further. I wonder why people sending me a text when, when I'm broadcasting. This is not right. So we've got to understand that order, amen, Sometimes can be an hindrance, can be a blockage. In fact, can be a disguise of the enemy. You know, everything is where you, where, where you, where you see them, where you keep them, where you can see them. You know the four corners of your room. You know where everything is. But God says, amen, you've outgrown this, this little place. I need you to break forth. I need you to begin to dream amen my dream i needed to begin to see yourself in the light amen of how i've defined you you see that is our greatest challenge a lot of us will tell people you know you need to dream again what dream are they gonna dream if all their life amen they they have been their dream have been defined by their environment amen by the by the status quo hallelujah by the political system amen by the economic system how can they dream dream outside of their world don't you know amen 
that your dream is designed by the things that you see. There are things that are amen, that are inflowing into your space. That are you know images, pictures. Many times our dreams, amen, are the realities of the things that we feel, that we that we go through, that we see, that is happening around our world. So for you to have, amen, a good dream, a godly dream, you have to begin to infill your faculty, your mind, your thought, amen, your subconscious, amen, with the word of God, amen, to as far as you can see spiritually is what you're going to get. Are you getting the point, friends, this morning? We can dream dreams, amen. And uh, what we see in our dream remains dream. But when we begin to dream the dream of God, by allowing God's word to speak to us, to, 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 to redefine us, to build us, to shape us, guess what? Dream will begin to develop wisdom, knowledge. In our dream, we'll begin to not only see the future, because you see, you can dream dreams and never have the capacity to rise to rise, to achieve what you have seen because you don't have the capacity, amen, to, to make a dream come true. So, it, it living a life that is based on dream without the word of God speaking to you, amen, those dreams would die, amen, unborn. I could remain in the position of dreaming. Yes, this is what God wants me to do. And, I, and can I continue to daydream? You know, the dream is the desire. Is you desiring those things? Is you talking about? But I'm not doing anything. I'm not agreeing with God, Amen. And I'm not positioning myself. You see, when God gives you a prophetic word, when God said He's going to do something in your life, Amen. And all He shows you is the breakthrough, is the you know, yes, the success aspect. Because most of them, that's what you see. You always see the end. You don't see the process. You've got to understand for amen for, for that thing that you saw that is so wonderful and beautiful to come to pass, there has to be some disruption in your life. And show me in the word of God where a calling, a pass, you know, a mandate is given to people where there is no disruption. Show me in the word. There's nothing like that. There, there is always a disruption. There is always a challenge. There is always, amen, a coming to challenge what you have seen, what you have dreamt, amen. Yes. And so we have to understand that disruption is part of our life. That is if we want to break through. When the present order of your life becomes the enemy of your disruption, you need to enter the next, of entering the next sphere of God's counsel for your life. You need to begin to pray, God, shake me. Order is good. I'm a man of order. I love order. I love when everything, you know, is in their right place. I, I just love order because that's the nature of God. But if you want to move, increase, grow, develop, advance, you need to embrace disorderliness. You have to embrace disruption. All right? That's called renovation. Have you been to a, reno, you know, a, a, a site that is being renovated? You need to be careful how you walk. Because you may just step on, you know, uh, on nails. You, you know, a, a place where a man, renovation is taking place is always dangerous. Because things fall, collapse. You know, they break things. You know, there are all kinds of walls that have been broken here. All kinds of things, you know. And, 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 and when you begin to go into, you know, renovation, you begin to see things that you, you, you're not seeing in your house. And then you begin to see, oh, my word, there's a dead cockroach, cockroach somewhere. There's God knows what, you know. You begin to see rotten things. Oh, oh yeah. What, what you thought you're ju just going to fix, amen, <laughs> will be greater, hallelujah, because there's so many things that are, you know, popping up. That's why people hate disruption. People hate renovation. People hate it. People hate when they're given a prophetic word that this is what God is saying. This is what God demands of you. This is what God, because somehow they know that <laughs> when God comes to give me a prophetic word, there is going to be a, a disruption in my life. People hate that. That's why people like to go to a place where all they hear is where the blessing is coming. The, the, the breakthrough. Even with all of that, they don't tell them that, you know, what is going to come before that breakthrough is going to be messy. We all like the joy, amen, of a newborn baby. 
We like the joy. But the process of giving birth to that baby is something that almost every woman hates. And of course, the process of growing that child, oh, it can just <laughs> kill you. Yes. But we all love. Amen. Yes. Wow. A newborn baby. That's how it is in the things of the spirit. God said, tell them. They don't want to. Tell them to go forward. And in most cases, amen, you will have to be the one, amen, going through all of this process of a change that you want to see because you are the one that God, amen, is speaking to, regardless of the people around you. So I'm saying that, are we really ready for disruption? Because to go forward means that we will be disrupted. Sometimes you might have to live, you know, where you are, what you're doing. You might have to shift position. You might have to, you know, all kinds. Disruption is about change. We love change, but we don't love disruption. At that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lambs. They did the right thing and went out to meet with the bridegroom five were wise five were foolish five were wise and then they define to us what defines their wisdom and their foolishness the foolish ones took the lambs but did not take amen did not take any oil with them so they just grabbed the they just grabbed the you know the lamb up off the go the wise one, however, took amen, oil in jars, in jars, because the journey is far. Amen. We don't know, amen. There will be disruption. You say, well, I'm going, uh, I'm, I'm just going to the, you know, to, you know, to God knows where there. I'm, I'm going quickly. I'm coming back. No, no. You've got to prepare. Whatever journey that is set before you, you've got to prepare. Amen. Jotam prepared his way before the law. You have to prepare. Never assume that, well, it's going to take me, you know, 30 minutes or half an hour to go there and come back. Before reaching that point, there will be all kinds of disruption, all kinds of challenges, all kinds of of unexpected things that you're going to meet just like you know building this up you know my office studio here you every day you just realize oh my god something new is coming up you know it, something new just pop up you know and these are necessary things you think okay uh, uh, by now i should be done by now you should get the now all kinds of things are popping up all of those things if you're not careful will weigh you down and in fact you may just want to stop the project halfway down that's why the scripture says amen who wants to build a house that will not first sit there and count the cost if it's able to finish it listen to this the finishing of the project is not in your estimate it's in the capacity that you develop is in the mentality it's in the resolve that the hand of the Lord, amen, has begun this. He will finish it. You see, because if you think, well, I have a budgeted X amount, you'll be surprised tomorrow, all right, that, you know, uh, uh, that budget, amen, is not doing it. Because all your calculation, I know you, you calculated well. I know you, 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 you've added, amen, enough in case, amen, there's a change in price. But guess what? We live in a world that is volatile. We live in a world, amen, that the economy is so volatile that, amen, today the rand is up, tomorrow it can fall on the ground. Today, you know, uh, uh, the dollar is high, tomorrow it can be no more. You, you understand? We've got to live within that order, amen, of embracing, amen, disruption as the norm, as the, no as the norm of the days we live in. If we don't, we will get to the point and place where we get frustrated, we get tired. That was the point, a place I was almost getting to yesterday. I said, Lord God, help me here. Yes, but we have to learn from the things the Spirit of God is speaking to us because these are days we've got to develop prophetic understanding, prophetic wisdom. We've got to develop, amen, spiritual capacity, competence, amen. We have to, amen, be, be, be there that every day we show up, amen, for what God is demanding and not getting tired and not getting frustrated because god says let's go to the other side going to the other side means expand you know you've got to increase 
your 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 capacity you've got to increase your sense amen of 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 you know of grace yes anything can happen like i said jesus said let's go to the other side he went to sleep Hoping that Ara is going to be, of course he knows that it's not going to be a, a smooth sailing. But he was teaching us something. That when the word has gone for go to the other side, you rest. The Bible says yes. And the wind was boisterous. And of course, panic se sets in. Panic sets in. Now when panic sets in, what do you do? Because when panic sets in, that is where your true, that's when your true nature, who you are, amen, truly shows up. Somebody getting what we're talking about this morning. I need us to see these things because it's important that we see this thing. Because if we don't, we will, we will, hallelujah, we will be challenged. Now, listen to this. Hebrews uh, uh, 12, 20, 27 says, The word once more signify the removal of what can be shaken. God says, once more, I will not only shake, amen, the earth, but I will also shake the heaven, the heavens. Now, he says, the word once more, signify the removal of things that can be shaken. That is, created things, created things, things we create with our mind, things we fashion with our own idea, things, amen, circumstance created. Do you know there are all kinds of things that, amen, society, you know, human philosophy, tradition has created for us to believe. Many people believe more on what, amen, yes, the world says. They believe more in what, amen, their, 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 their environment, their country, amen, their leaders say than what God says. God said, okay, in the days we're living, amen, I'm going to shake everything, including the things that are created, the, the, the powerful ideas and belief system, the philosophy that have been created. Isn't our philosophy driving the world today? The economy that we live by is driven by certain philosophy. The concept of governance, leadership that we live by, amen, what is called politics, what is called democracy is driven by a philosophy, amen, yes. All kinds of lifestyle that we have come to embrace, driven by, you know, weak philosophy. God said, I'm going to shake those things. I'm going to continue to shake so that, amen, the things that can be shaken, created things that can be shaken, can then give way, can be removed. Oh, yeah. Listen, friends, you think it's the devil. No, God says we're going to the other side. And to reach the other side, there are all kinds of processes. There are all kinds of things that will be happening within and around your life. Amen. Now, when you see those things being shaken, what are you going to be saying? What, how are you going to respond? There are people who look at things that are being shaken. They say, oh, the world is coming to an end. Not knowing that God is shaking things, amen, to remove those things so that the things that cannot be shaken, there is the order of things that cannot be shaken. There is the order of things that can, a government that cannot be shaken that God is bringing into your space, into your life. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid of disruption. I mean, if the world, at least in recent, in recent years, if the world has faced any kind of shaking that has impacted anyone is what we faced you know in 2020 the corona you know pandemic ushered in amen an economic shaking all kinds of things have happened and they will still continue to happen so it, it's important we understand that the days ahead amen are days and all of this shaking will continue till 2030, thereabout. We will continue to get to be shaken. Yes, because that's how it is. Regardless of how the shaking comes, it's not for us, amen, to be hitting our head. It's for us to prefer solution. It's for us to come out stronger. Uh, they said the things that doesn't kill you make you stronger. Amen, yes. In, from, for those of us that are alive today, the, our re resolve should be we are alive and we want to continue to advance, not go into hiding. Amen. The world was shut down. Amen. That, is, that doesn't stop. Amen. That didn't hinder people from dying. They were still died. A lot of people died. Friends, loved ones, family died. 
The point is, we that are alive, what are we seeing? Are we going to look at those events and decide to go into hiding and decide to go bury our head? Or are we going to rise up with a new mindset, with a new belief system? Are we going to bring forth, amen? Yes, the things that God wants to see manifest in times like this. Because out of every shaking, amen, a new order of men, a new order of life, a new order of belief system, a new order of philosophy always emerge. Out of the old, amen, something great, something more powerful, something more grand, something more authentic always emerge. It's the way it has been. Many of the shakings that have happened in the earth have actually revealed some of the best, amen, uh, uh, leaders. And of course, has revealed new technologies. This season is, 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 is showcasing, amen, new concept of prophetic voice. Yes, people that you never know, you've never seen before, are emerging. Yes, a new way of doing business. A new way of, 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 of looking into the concept of career. People who, who are just beginning to learn and, you know, preparing to start their life. Young people today should look at all of the current, you know, a, 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 a trend. Do, do a trend analysis, amen, and, and project into the future to know what you want to study. Don't study things that have become obsolete. All right? You, you want to go into relationship marriage. You look at the kind of men that are coming out. Out of all of this collapse of values and, and standards. You look at the kind of men emerging. You hear the heart, their voice. You know, ah, that's the kind of a man, amen, that I want in my life. A man that is stable. That has got, amen, understanding, wisdom, capacity, competence. That in the midst of all this shaking, he still have his cool. You're not looking for something that is just trendy, that is, you know, today looks nice, tomorrow is no more. You, you, you look at all of these things, amen, and you begin to define, amen. Yes, what kind of churches are emerging stronger? Those are the places you want to go fellowship, amen. What kind of churches that have emerged out of, amen, the pandemic, amen, with a, with a more resilient spirit, amen, with a more prophetic understanding, hallelujah, not one that just lied to you and just, you know, get you excited, tell, tell you that, well, God is going to restore everything back. No, you look at every, you look at the words proceeding, amen, from the altar. You look at the kind of water flowing out of the altar, hallelujah, and you make your decision because a lot of people today, even though they are attending churches, but they are scouting, they are looking around. Which church is the best for me in this season in time? So, man of God, this is not the time to be lying to the people. This is the time, amen, to really come out and give the people what they need to hear. Amen. Based on the voice of God, the heart of God, the mind of God. And even, and even if, amen, they, they hear and they live, let them live. But you establish your ground. Stand your ground, amen, as a church that is emerging within, hallelujah, the compromise system of the day. This is powerful, friends. You, you've got to understand the trend analysis, prophetic trend analysis. You see, you have the vision until tomorrow. You make choices based on that. Not, not, oh, because of the disruptions. No, this is the time, amen, to invest into certain companies. Because there are new companies coming out, amen, that are not, that, that were not known, you know, 10 years ago. But they have solution, they have understanding. They know what is going on, amen. And you can see how they are pressing, moving further. You've got to be making choices. I told you how I began to broadcast on 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 uh, uh, this this platform that we're using, you know, Streamyard. Before Streamyard, I first went for you know uh, the, the those particular one that I went for, and I thought that was better because of the names, you know, that you know they had and the kind of people that you know uh, uh, you know were supporting them and all kinds of brand that were using them. So I thought, and they were a bit expensive than this one. So I went for them because I wasn't, I, I wanted the best. I wanted to, you know, to, to be able to get a platform that can give me the best. After the time period, of course, I paid. 
first first second day i looked at it things the broadcast was not good i mean I, i'm wondering what's going on i checked my network i realized no no these people are just not it so i told them sorry i need a refund of my money because you guys are not giving me what i want see there's something people want in this season in time that will allow them to do better to to express themselves to sell amen to to offer service better all right regardless of the challenge no you've got to come out of that challenge amen yes more 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 productive more innovative amen yes with, with quality service you, you 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 if you can't then somebody's gonna acquire you or you're just going to oblivion so thank god they refund me back my money so i went for this and I've not regretted it, not for a day. You see, they lose that money. Somebody gain. That's how it is. So this is not a time to just run and just want to do something. No, you've got to be sure that you have what it takes. Hallelujah. Yes. To weather this season. You've got to be sure, amen, that you have what it takes. Because God is shaking everything that can be shaken. The shaking starts from how we reason, how we think, how we see, amen, how we understand life, how we interact with our environment, relationship must change, all kinds of things that are demanded in this new day, amen, to be upgraded, amen, this is what expansion is all about, this is what, amen, moving and increasing within this disruption. If we don't, then we will, we will just go into oblivion. Like I said, certain churches have closed up. Some will still close up. Even though, amen, yes, their, 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 their caricatures is still there. People are still making noise. Still, but they're dead already. Some, some men of God have done their time. It, it's gone. It's finished with them. He said, but they're still called of God. You can still be called of God. After Isaiah was still called of God, when they opened his eyes and they, he heard that they were looking for somebody to replace him. If you're not shifting, if you're not changing, if you're not moving with the times or the trend of the prophetic season, you will be left behind. You'll be relegated behind. Amen. Whilst people are pressing into the new reality, the new dimension, the new expression of God's prophetic intentions for the earth. All right. You are still trying to, you know, wind the old order. They say, leave that thing. It's past. It's passe. Move into the new. And to move into the new, like I said, you have to know how to weather disruption. You have to develop, amen, the, 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 spiritual, the spiritual shock absorber. Because, yes, you will step into certain things. You will bump into all kinds of things that may want to kill you. But you have to develop the resolve not to die. Tell the people to go to the other side. Amen. Tell the people to go forward, not backwards. Not backwards. You can't have a backwards mentality in this new day. You cannot have a man a backward mentality in this new day. You cannot want to go back, amen, and continue to to do what you know to to uh, to rewind the same old things that you did in the past. There's still a lot heaven, amen, has ordained for you. There's still so much the spirit of God, Hallelujah, wants to reveal in this new season. Hallelujah. Are you getting what I'm saying? There's so much God, amen, want to bring out of you. There's so much heaven has deposited in you. But you have to let them steer the waters. So that the things that can be shaken will be shaken. You see, sometimes you think you've lost certain things. And you want to stay there and cry over what you have lost. No, let it go. Let it go means develop the state of mind. Say God is able to do much more. God is able to provide for me better. You see, you have to understand these things. You know, few uh, was it last week? Yeah, last week. Sorry, the network seemed to be a bit slow, but I hope I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm soon gonna be finished now. You know, last week I was in town and I saw this night beautiful mixer fairly used that is about it was to be sold and wow i thought this was an opportunity to get this mixer but guess what i just didn't have the the amount in fact the price out that this mixer was going for was quite cheap and i'm like oh, lord this is good so i told the person why don't you just keep it you know uh, <laughs> 
I'm believing God to get it. But by the time I went back, like, you know, yesterday just to check it, the mixer was, has been sold to somebody else for half of the price. This, and the Lord said to me, "It was not your time. If it's your time, regardless of what you're doing, you will still be able to afford." You see, that's how we know when God speaks to us. So uh, uh, you move on. You move on. You don't continue. Oh God, I wish. Uh, no, 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 no. You just move on. Yeah, and sometimes that, that can be very painful because it's an opportunity. You see, that's a great opportunity. But sometimes you may just have something that looks like an opportunity, but you don't have the means. That is not amen, an opportunity. If it's an opportunity, amen, that God has provided, that God has opened up, He will make a way. He will make a provision for it. He will make a provision for it. You just got to move on. If you don't move on, you, you, you wrap your mind around that thing. You, you will not see the bigger things that God wants to do. Because God is bigger than that. And the Lord said to me, this is a fairly used thing. You do know I can even give to you a new one. Regardless of the cost. You know, because I just have the mindset that in whatever way I can reduce spending, I can, you know, maximize what I have. If, if if something fairly used all right can can do the same job of a new one why buying a new one now that's me that's my way of thinking so i go for the fairly used one as long as i know that it can do the job and there's a guarantee on it you see but god says no move on are you getting the point that i'm making i'm just trying to encourage us this morning that many of us can't move on because of how we have allowed our mind, amen, to be captured, amen, on the past, on events, on situation, people, amen, that, uh, you know, we're just an hindrance. You've got to learn to move on. That is what life is all about. Life is about progression, it's about advancement. Is about pressing further. Is about breaking limitation, breaking, you know, a, a mental, you know, physical, you know, ma material, and even spiritual barriers. Pressing forward. Out of the old must emerge the new. So don't be limited. As a roundup, I hope this this word this morning. Will encourage you that moving forward is a current prophetic demand. You've got to move on in your relationship. You've got to move forward in your in your marriage, in your finance, amen. In your economy, you've got to move forward, amen. In your in, in the life of your your core ministry, whatever it takes, amen, to move from point A to point B. Do it. Develop that mindset every day. You wake up. There's a progression. There's an advancement. You proclaim it. You declare it. Amen. You say it. I'm moving on. I'm pressing on. I'm moving to the next point, to the next place of God's intention. Regardless of where that place is, Lord, prepare me for it. Open my heart. Open my mind to see it, oh God. Let me not say, ah, that place, I dare not go there. I can't make it. I No, no. They say you are able. Gideon, you are able. Rise up. Lead the people, amen, to victory. Yes. I know you, you, you came out of an environment where everybody was afraid of the Midianite. Where everybody were afraid to even rise. But I have brought you, amen, to this point for such a time as this. Lead the people. Rise up. Lead the people forward. Moses, tell the people to go forward. There's always something heaven has given to you. God will never allow you or ask you to, you know, do something without giving you, without resourcing you. So God, resource me. Resource me. Open my eyes to the things, amen, that you have, that you have said. Help me to see the things that you are saying. Help me to see. Send help across my path. People that can train me, that can equip me, bring material across my way. Lead me, guide my step. To us that man that woman yes that situation that circumstance that can make me become what you have made me listen nobody i've said it before i'm saying it again nobody is self-made opportunity will be coming to learn to hear amen to respond you seize the moment 
Because you know where you're going. You know what God, amen, is demanding, is requiring of you. Sometimes we know what God demands of us, but we don't have enough capacity. So, God, I plunge myself into that realm, into that capacity, into that position. Whatever it is, lead me. If you have to take me from where I am to the place I need to be to betray so that I can fulfill the things you have ordained for me, so be it. Never be afraid, amen, of destruction. God will ask you to, to go to a place you've never been before. They will ask you to eat things you've never eaten before. They will ask you to mix with cultures you've never mixed with before. You don't, you are not used to. It's for a reason. They're training you for something bigger. They will bring you, amen, into environment, into places, amen, that may shake you, shake the way you think, shake the way you see things, shake the way you relate because many of us are still locked locked back and locked down amen by how our environment have built us and shaped us so we are not ready we're not prepared for the next thing god has in stock for us so they bring certain people they bring you into certain space they shake that amen false belief they shake that foundation amen they remove they train you they they rebrand you then they release you that's god that's god you see so it's a win-win. Don't be afraid of disruption. Your life, your life seems messy. Seem like I thought we're supposed to be expanding. We're supposed to be increasing. We're supposed to be. That's what's going on. But the process is what you're not used to. The process is what you don't like. You understand? It's part of growing up. You have to learn to clean the baby. If you want the baby to look nice and look good, you have to learn to wash and clean the baby's poo-poo. And all of that is part of the process. Oh, we like the baby dress, looking nice, looking okay. But guess what? Somebody had to bathe that baby. Somebody had to clean that diaper. Somebody had to do something. Yes, it's part of the process. People like to admire things that they don't understand the process. We admire things. We don't understand how, hallelujah, that child grew up and become so nice, so kind, amen. So, you know, so, you know, un- 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 understandable. You wonder how your child is so, is so, is so mannered. No, it takes a process to get there. It takes daily speaking and correcting, daily speaking and correcting. It takes praying. It takes all kinds of things. It takes you sitting with the child and learning all, you know, so many things that we don't want to talk about. But those are the things at the end of the day that defines the beauty that we see. Disruption is good. Don't let your present order of things hinder you. Hinder the disruption God is bringing your way. The world today are, are cashing in on the concept of disruption. The world today, the, the world today, amen, are making money based on the current disruption. The best companies today are companies, amen, who have learned to survive disruption. That in the day of disruption, the shaking, they are standing stronger. They are acquiring. They are building. They are expanding. Listen, and it's not just about, oh, well, it's because they've got the, the, the funds, the, the finance to do that. Some of those things, not about funds, it's about being able to see into the future. To, to be able to, you know, do a trend analysis. They're able to put one or two together. Okay, this is the time to do this. How are you tracking the mind of God for your life? The will of God for your life? Friends, in the next couple of days, we're going to start our prophetic school. I'm hoping that this words of encouragement will help you to understand what God wants to do in your life, in your day. Because God, excuse me, the Spirit of God wants to bring us to a new day. But they're building competence grace capacity wisdom into our life so that amen when the time comes for us to embrace the new chapter of our life we will not be afraid we will not be running oh god we will not be like i cannot we'll be ready we will be ready and i pray that you will be ready i pray that you will be ready that you will not look at disruption and interpret it amen as, as an enemy. Oh, that's a word. 
that you will not look at disruption and interpret it as enemy. You see, how we interpret the, our, our day is crucial to our advancement. You can look at things and interpret it as this is the enemy, you go into hiding. Or you can say, wow, what an opportunity. Yes, engage. It all depends on your prophetic sight. So, we believe in God for great things. We thank God. Friends, I'm done for this morning. Once again, Matthew 25, 1 to 3. At that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like 10 virgins who took their lambs and went out. That's the key word we're looking at this morning. They went out. They took their lamb and went out. They didn't remain. Because something is about to happen. If something is about to happen, you prepare to engage. Don't wait for it to come to you. You prepare. Amen. We are going to meet him outside the camp. We are going to meet him outside the camp. You begin to prepare yourself. They went out. Went out in the way of thinking. Some people have no spiritual expectation. So even when opportunity comes their way, when God walks past their, their tent, they can identify that's God walking past. You know why? Because they are not, they're not ready. They're not prepared. They're just there. Abraham was ready. The Bible says they were on their way to Sodom and Gomorrah. As they walked past the tent of Abraham, Amen. He will let them know <laughs> you, you're not going to go. You see, Elisha, amen, was aware. His mentor said, wait here. The Lord have sent me to Jericho. You wait here while I go and come back. Elisha said, no, sir. As long as you live and the Lord lives, I'm going with you. Can, can, can you pick the moment? Can you, can you identify a moment? Can you interpret, amen? What is going on around you? Can you see the fingerprint of God? Or do you see gloom and darkness? And therefore, the rest one is flee, hide. Lord, we thank you. May we take our lamp with oil, enough oil, to journey out to meet with you. May we not be afraid when disruption comes, when the storm comes, when the challenge, when the enemy comes, when fear hits our heart, when we feel like we've missed it, help us to know that you're there with us. Help us to see the greater picture of your kingdom that is advancing and emerging. We bless you, Father. We honor your name. Oh, may your will and counsel be fulfilled in our lives, in our lives, in our homes, in our family, in our career, in our ministry. May our life bring honor to you. May we refuse to be defined by how the world sees us. May we rise into how you have defined us. May we become all that you have ordained us to be. May our life be translated to yes and it came to pass. We want to be, yes Father, the manifestation of what has been written. May we become, yes, the manifestation of the written word. And the word became flesh and dwelt among men. We thank you, O God. We honor you this morning. Let your spirit continue to lead us. May a new person emerge from this old as you continue to shake everything within us that can be shaken, may we, Lord, know that we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Yes, Father, we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. We declare in the name of Jesus, we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. As you shake everything and anything in our life that requires shaking, shake them. We are not afraid of the shaking. We are not afraid yes of being disrupted we are not afraid yes father of being repositioned many of us just like things the way they are and of us just keep my things where they are they're gonna move them they're gonna move them they're gonna shake things they're gonna yes reorder things around your life it's part of the process 
so you can receive a kingdom that cannot be shaken. When the kingdom of God fully come into your space, in the midst of mighty shaking, you will find rest, tranquility. You will find prosperity, deliverance, victory will become a reflection of your normal life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, we bless the Lord this morning for God's mind, God's heart, God's will, God's counsel once again. I believe, amen, God has spoken once again to us this morning. Never be afraid of disruption. Just, you just need to adjust your, pers- you know, your perception. You just need to adjust your sight, your vision. Amen. I, said, I made a statement uh, not too long ago. I said, our breakthrough, our you know, breakthrough in life, most times they come in the disguise, amen, of, 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 of enemies, of trials, of challenges. Let's change the way we look at things. When you change the way you see things, you'll have peace and rest in every situation because you know that, amen, the Lord is in control. He's in charge. Hallelujah. So bless you, everyone. Thank you so much, Sister Tina. Amen. Thank you, Sister uh, Priscilla, uh, Brother Desmond. Thank you. And uh, who else again? Sister Marik. Thank you. Everyone and anyone joining us watching from Facebook. Thank you so very much, everyone. And if you're watching from YouTube, well, thank you so much also for joining. We want to bless God this morning for God's heart, God's mind, God's will, God's counsel. Don't be afraid of disruption. Amen. You keep moving. You keep advancing. And let's see what God is going to do. Amen. Expect something wonderful and glorious this this day. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you again. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.